Right guys, um, this is going to be the last video of this week. I want to try and catch up with some listing. I do not feel very well. It's not about the weekend and now. I just feel like I've caught something. Obviously being run down from then and I think I've caught the bug going around. I've just got a really sore throat. <coughs> I've even got lemsip this is. Um, so. We're going to get into this video quick as possible. The two parts of this video, there will be the announcement. I have got all the people from the 4,000 subscriber giveaway here. They're all in here, right? I've written them all out. I've done it proper old school. <coughs> so they're all in there, ready to be picked. Um, just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's commented. Some of you never seen before, probably won't never see it again. But it'd be nice if I do see you in the comments, you know, in video to come. But yeah, first of all, I want to talk about the whole thing yesterday. Uh, and I've decided to come to this announcement that I'm not going to associate myself with people who, who, want to badmouth me in public uh, or slate me that's not that's anybody you know mentioning no names I've seen people who've commented on other people's videos and I think it's a bit wimpish to be fair I do feel like a lot of people take things to heart too much and want to get on a bandwagon with somebody or try and cause trouble with somebody and in the end of the day I have an opinion it's my opinion everybody comments has an opinion but the difference between somebody like me having an opinion is it's my channel I if I'm not happy about something it's because I'm not happy about something. I'm not the only one happy about it, you know. Um, <clears throat> I haven't got anything against people who want to be a private seller and stay a private seller, but I have been going into it over the last day to find out a bit more information. Um, yeah. I feel like there will be something coming out and it will probably affect them in the long run, which it's a bit of a, I would say, a clever move by eBay to get them to become business sellers. The other thing is, you've probably seen in some of my comments, is you have to actually be registered as a business if you are selling. If you're buying stuff and you're selling it, you have to be classed as a business. Right, there's laws. You can go and check it out. Type it in. Right, I'm not the whole this person that knows ins and outs, but I've checked it all out. You can go and Google it. Right, official sites, official government sites. You have to be classed as a business seller. I had it from Equinox, I think it is. Who trolls me? Sometimes he doesn't. Sometimes he does. And yeah. He hounded me for ages saying, you're not a business seller, you're not a business seller. And I wasn't for about six months because I wasn't really bothered about that, you know. I just started out. But the time I've been doing this and <coughs> the time I've been doing this, sorry. The time I've been doing this, I've been making more and more money. I feel like if you want to be successful in anything, you have to be classed as a business. The next stage is being obviously with the big boys, you know, a trading company, or you have to do VAT, stuff like that. And now that we have to earn over what, 80 grand or something, that would be the next stage. And I want to be like that. But to be one of them, you've got to be a business seller, right? You've got to be a business seller. And I feel like a lot of people. I'm not saying everybody, but I do feel like a lot of people are doing a bit of a side hustle. And this is going to obviously help them. But now you probably heard that Vinted Pro is out today. 
but there's a lot of trouble with the system. Um, registering your tax number is not working if you're a sole trader, which I am. So yeah, um, it might be sorted now, might not be, might be sorted at the end of the day, might be sorted out in whenever, but it's official. And we know now why eBay have done what they've done because they knew about obviously Vinted Pro. I think what's gonna happen is there's gonna be a standard now of different sorts of resellers. It's gotta be what you wanna be. Do you wanna be just making a bit of money there's no harm in making a thousand pounds a month, you know, making minimum wage, doing that. It's great. You know, I would rather do this and be on minimum wage than working in a shop because it's easier. It's stress free. But um, <clears throat> um, I think now that eBay don't look like they're cutting down on you. It looks like they're giving you a bit more, of a, you know, a bit more of an extension and release to do more more things for free i don't think they are i think all they're doing is they're just copying vinted but they know they're on a bigger scale worldwide vinted aren't you know you're never going to make as much money on vinted as you are on ebay i'm not anyway maybe for a clothing seller yes but me personally i'm not because i ship all over the world and without ebay i wouldn't be doing this but yeah, Vinted Pro, you will have to be registered, obviously, for tax. So a lot of the people may not want to do that. And then it, they might actually get strict on people who are selling a lot. They might restrict it and say, well, you're only allowed to sell so many things on the normal Vinted, which will trouble a lot of the people who are sellers. You know, I'm saying nothing, but we all sell on it. So basically everybody you know sells on Vinted, right? Um, and <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's just one of them things because it's free. But now eBay are doing it. It will be, I think, a bit different. Um, I don't think it will change much. But my video yesterday was me being more annoyed and... The reason why is I don't think it's right for somebody like myself and probably people watching this who have got told to become a business seller, which you're supposed to be. If you're making enough money, you're supposed to be a business seller. Right? There is no, there is a law, but it's very, I would say, I saw a comment on somebody who said about like, it's if you get caught, you get caught. But if you, a lot of times you don't get caught, you're still doing. It's one of them. You want to dice with it? Do it. But also, you'll always be restricted now. You'll never, ever grow. And being a reseller, that is the choice you basically got to make. Do you want to grow? Or do you want to just stay the same? Because if you are private, you're never ever gonna grow. You never can grow, no matter what you do, right? Because you'll be restricted. I spoke to somebody on eBay um, <clears throat> last night. I was a bit annoyed and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna have to talk to someone on eBay. So I talked through a chat, proper person, not a robot. And they understood why I was a bit frustrated. And they said, well, we're having a lot of um, restrictions on people, basically telling you everything what we already knew about, but they are clamping down on private sellers as well. People who are basically not just selling the odd thing here and there, you know, and they will clamp down on if they're selling a lot of things, they're watching you. If you're making a lot of money, they're watching you. So I don't know how that's gonna work because obviously they're not making money out of them anymore. So maybe they are gonna be watching you. So again, just be careful, okay? Anyway, on to the next bit. I have obviously last week 
done something that I've never done before, and that is I put on a sale. This is another thing. I think I'm, I only think you can do this on business accounts um, where you can have a sale. It's one of the benefits. I think you can't do it on private. I don't know. But if, I, if I'm wrong, just let me know. Um, is you can have a sale, put all your things on sale or part things, you know, whatever you want. So much, so many days. And I thought, come on, let's see if it's any good. Never done one before. Will it like bump up my sales? You know, I don't need myself to be bumped up, but will it go just crazy? And I'm going to show you now how good it was. I don't need to show you this. I think I showed you a couple of times my proper actual eBay like totals, right? This is only sales. It's not profits, right? Because I'll be here all day trying to work out the profits, but it sells. If you know eBay and profits, I don't buy things for much anyway. So yeah, there's a lot of profit in it. As you can see now on the screen, this is my seller's hub, basically, of how much I made in the last week. As you can see, it's, it's all from the 23rd to the 29th, and that is the last week. I did a sale for that week, and that's how much I made. One, just over £1,200 in sales. And as you can see, with the uh, the fees, they take off a lot of fees. And imagine if I was a private seller, I'd be making all that money, which is the one thing that annoys me. We're paying money for a shop uh, to be at this business, you know, like proper like trying to make ourselves something in this world and yeah it yeah you're just it's annoying that the fees are coming out from us when we're paying and then the rest of them are not like i said is what it is and you know we'll see what happens um but if it drives more sales to us as ebay say it's going to well we'll see maybe it will maybe it won't but as you saw 50 sales and yeah just over 1200 pounds which is not bad is it for a week um making that much money you know and that's not without obviously sales on vinted so it's it's a it's a lot more than that because i did sell quite a few on um, vinted as well so if you are thinking of doing sales do them because it's definitely worth it. I never thought I would have got that many sales. Literally, I didn't think I would have got that many sales. Also, it's not just like the good stuff. It's it's random things all over the place from really old stock to new stock. And also stock that I was listing, which wasn't on sale because not everything I put on was on sale. So it was actually selling stuff that wasn't on sale as well so it was it was just doing wonders and also it's wednesday now and i'm still getting sales from the aftermath i am basically i don't know how many sales i've got quite a few sales and i haven't listed at all this week so doing a sale not only helps you boost your sales through that sale week or however long you're doing it but it actually helps you the week after when in your sales is stopped. So it's definitely worth it. I don't know if I'm going to do it every single time. Um, I did a 20%. And yeah, some of the things I was like, oh no, I've lost like 20 quid on and stuff like that. But other things, I was like, thank God that sold. I've had that ages. And that's the whole good thing about sales. Every company does sales. Every company. There is not one company in the world who hasn't done a sale. And sometimes you just need a sale to revamp your stock. Uh, obviously because you're getting new stock in or, yeah, just having a clear out. The reason why I'm not doing any videos this week is I'm not feeling too well. Anyway, I've got such a sore throat and it's hurting doing this video. The amount of times I had have <coughs> the amount of times I've had to stop this video to cough is like is is endless, right? Um, and 
I, like I said, I just wanted a week off. Obviously, eBay thing came out, so I had to talk about it, have my little say on that. And I promised you guys that I was going to do the giveaway. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do the giveaway now. And right, everybody who's entered... <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Everybody who's entered is in here, right? I have not... I have not cheated at all. So I'm going to... This is not the competition. So, right. Do not say you've won this. I'm just going to show the not... this. It's not fixed or anything like that. So this random person would be the winner. West End Dog won. You would have won if we were starting. Okay? So I'm going to put that one back in. All right. Pick out another one. Oop, let's try and get one out. Connorsender. Connorsender. All right? There you go. So all random. Let's just do another one to prove you're wrong. I can. I'm not even looking. And this one is Sabrace. All right. So you've all got the same chance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to proper mix them up now because I've just dropped them at the top. We're going to do it uh, a jiggy jiggy. All right. Mix it around with my hand. All right. And it's not edited. Right, it's not edited. So what we're going to do, we're going to go from first prize all the way down to the third prize. The, way, the reason I'm doing this is because if you win, you haven't got a chance to win again, right? You would only have one entry. Yes, you could have put more entries in if you would have obviously gifted. But there's also something special happening some extra prizes as well um so <clears throat> if you can't hear your name in the first three um don't worry um there is some other prizes to be given away as well which i never told any of you about and i just had a lot of hate off certain people oh you shouldn't be doing that well why not why not it's up to a person i'm not forcing no one if you want more chances if i saw a competition somebody says do you want to have a go then put more entries in then yeah you do you know what i mean anyway we're going to do first prize because then everybody's got the chance to get the first prize haven't they right um and we don't want doing the third prize first and then you you've got your name and you go oh i've got third prize but still you should be happy right first prize is 50 pound in anything on my store so you can buy something for 50 pound well you can have something for 50 pound and have it obviously free um or you can have something that's more expensive and have 50 pound knocked off it you know you just have to tell me and then when or if you have one what you need to do is an email me i've got my email down below or instagram me saying what you want so i know it's you if it's expensive and you want £50 off, then obviously I'll give you the offer of £50 off and then you have to buy it through eBay or Vinted um, and so on and so on. If it's completely free, you don't have to go up to 50 quid. I mean, for instance, you could be the winner of the top prize and something you like is 45 quid. Then I'll just give you that, you know. Um, but that's what's going to happen. Same with the second prize, which is 25 quid. Same rules apply. And then the third prize is a £10 gift voucher of your choice. So if you want a gift voucher for like your son who plays Fortnite or um, you want an Amazon voucher or an Argus voucher for £10, tell me you, obviously DM me, email me, and tell me your address, then I'll just send it to you, okay? So we're going to do it now. Actually, we're not going to do it now because my throat's going to stop in a minute. <coughs> right then. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. So then, let's have a look. I think, let's have a look. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Oh, I'm picking one out. There we go. I've got one. Right then. 
The first person is Aaron. There we go. Aaron. Aaron Sharble, 8764. So, Aaron, what you got to do is you got 50 quid to spend in my store. Go on Vinted if you want to, or go on eBay. Let me know. Then email me, you know, what you want. If it's something more expensive, let me know, like I said. And, yeah, okay? All of you who win have got a week, right? I'm not waiting around forever, right? If you really wanted to win this, you should be watching, shouldn't you? So all the people who have commented, some of these people just commented because, like, oh, I see a free prize, I'm just going to comment. They probably won't even watch my channel. Um, so, Aaron, <coughs> you have won. And I think you actually gifted. So it just paid, didn't it? It just paid off. You got the top prize. So well, well done, mate. Well done. And I know him. He, he does talk. He comments all the time. So it's nice to see a, a person I actually do know. Just remember, Aaron, you can't win again, okay? Because you've got more entries in here, okay? You can't win again. But I don't think you care now. You won the top prize, haven't you? Right, this is for 25 quid. Getting, let's get right deep down. And it is. <laughs> oh, he's gonna, they're gonna love this. Sammy Valentino, you jammy git. Sammy Valentino is a lovely couple that is goes to the car boots I go to. They just bought them tea towels off me. And yeah, they're lovely people. So happy they've got that. You've got 25 quid. Um, so yeah, go and choose something on my stall. Congratulations. That's two proper subscribers. And that's good because at least it's gone to somebody who, you know, watches stuff. Right, final prize in the draw. And this is for the £10 gift voucher of your choice. Um, let's go. Let's go. Let's get that one. Let's get in there. So this one is... Oh, God. Another person I know. This is how many loyal subscribers I've... He's going to be absolutely chuffed. He, well, he's, he's got something, hasn't he? That is Landon Burton, 9390. And if I'm right, Landon is the one who... Um, I met at Stafford for the first time and he gave me the broken PlayStation. So he's getting, he's dodgy. <laughs> and he gave me, uh, now I've got a, he's got a £10 gift voucher from somewhere. So, mate, choose a gift voucher and I'll send it to you, okay? But it's not ended here. When I, when I said you could get in more entries uh, by doing gifts, I didn't want you to, basically. It was just a better way of you winning. Also, it's I didn't I couldn't do it any other way. If you get me, the only way I could do it, which would be fair, is somebody like putting another inch in, putting a quid in. Right? It it does help me out. You're still gonna get free. You might not gonna win, but it's totally up to you. And as you saw, one of them did win. But the three people who did do it, I wrote down. So they wouldn't go empty did. Unfortunately, Aaron, you've already won one. So you obviously you can't have another prize, okay? But Sarah G Z910 and Julie Gales2927. You have both won as well. You have both got 20 quid to go on my storm and have whatever you want, okay? Like I said, you can do whatever you want. Have 20 quid off something uh, or have something for free from 20 quid. Right? Whatever you want. All of you now, go and look at my shop. Go and have whatever you want. Uh, but obviously, email me or DM me on Instagram with what you want. So I know what it is. And then send me your details and I'll send it to you for free. Okay? So congratulations to all of you. 
You've got a week now, and I think you will all come back because I know all of you are quite low subscribers and you're not just watching my channel, you're there supporting me, you know, through thick and thin. So thank you everybody who had a go. I'm sorry, I couldn't give a gift to all of you. You know, a lot of you did enter and I didn't expect a, this many to enter, but yeah, congratulations to all of you. And yeah, I will see you next week. This will be the last video of this week. And like I said, I'm having a week off and revamping new week new me and it's time to knuckle down for christmas and smash it in sales another thing is i just looked at my total for the year so far and i'm 500 away from my total of the whole of last year so 500 quid and i've beat my whole total of last year so i am going places i am smashing it i'm improving and yeah it's just going to get better and better. So thank you, everybody who has supported me. You know, I appreciate you all. Thank you for watching. If you are new, subscribe, uh, like the video. And yeah, I'm going now to uh, cough my guts out. See you later. Goodbye.